my channel the beauty fashion world yeah it's been a while yeah i know i know it's been a while and i've missed you i've missed every one of you so how is how is the day going trust you and god so welcome back to my channel once again the beauty fashion world i mean a world of elegance and styles we deal with the female clothes male clothes i mean unisex world and we also make bag as well like 100% handmade bags. So today I'll be teaching you how to make a round sided bag. Actually, it is based on request. Yeah, someone requested for this video and I'm working it to the person and then for every other person as well. So this is the material I'll be making use of and the measurements we'll be making use of. It's going to be a one body and the measurement we'll be making use of length 23. Don't forget it is a one body. So we'll be making use of length 23. The width will be 13 inches, the handle will be 12 inches length, while the width of the handle will be 2 and a half inches because we're going to fold it, so it's going to be 2 and a half inches. So now let's get started. Don't forget, it is just a round sided bag, so it's very, very simple, very easy to cut and to sew. Trust me, you will enjoy it at the end. So don't forget the length 23, the width of the, of the main body. We only have one body, it's going to be one body and then two sides. So length 23, width 13, and do length 22, and then the width of the handle is going to be two and a half inches. And then when we are done cutting, that's when we're going to measure the all round side the side. So we're going to measure it. So let's get started anyway. So don't forget, if this is your first time of coming to my channel, just click on the notification button. But even though you've been coming, just keep on coming. I mean. Thanks for your love, thanks for your patience, thanks for everything. I love you all. Let's get started. So now we are done with our cutting. Don't forget I said the length is 23. This is the main body. This is the main body. We only have one body. So the length is 23. So I added one inches for sewing allowance. So making the total of 24 inches, which is the length 24 inches. And then I said the width is 13 inches. So you need to add one inches for the sewing allowance. So I added one inches, making 14 inches. And this is the handle. The length is 22 inches. You don't need to add any anything, any sewing allowance to the handle. So the length is 22, this is 22, the length is 22, and then we have the width to be two and a half inches. So to be two and a half inches. So now we can get started. The first thing we're going to do is fixing of our, of our, um, what is it called? <laughs> so it's fixing of our zip cloth and zip egg. That is the first thing you need to do. So that time you are sewing it back, don't forget the rule number one. So the rule number one is for you to fix in your zip clasp and your zip head actually we are making use of this material and the material doesn't need um doesn't need lining so if you know you wish to sew another yeah when you're making a bag and bag most and bag needs lining why most doesn't need lining so it all depends on your own preference it all depends on what you want or what it doesn't want but this present material i'm making use doesn't need lining i'm making use of loop material just for a tutorial when i'm making it as a handbag to sew out i'll make use of a leather handbag normal leather handbag so which that normal leather as one is going to make use of lining are you getting me now so there's a, there's a difference now i'm making this for a tutorial that's one i'm putting lining so you can also be request probably when i have time because i'm kind of busy this week and i've been busy <laughs> that's why i'm not being online but i'll just try and make an effort to make another kind of this is that tutorial that's going to have lining? I hope I'm saying something. So the first thing you need to do is to fix in your zip cloth and zip head. Okay. So now let's get started. So don't forget the rule number one. This is the first thing you need to do. You need to fix in your zip cloth, and this is your zip cloth. So don't forget. This is how you're going to. This is the main. This is the side of the zip cloth. So we place it like this. What I'm saying, the upper part of the zip cloth and the upper part of the material, we place it on each other. Then we sew.
cut off desses. So after sewing, don't forget to top stitch. You need to top stitch. So all you need to do is to fold it like this. You mustn't fold it like this. It won't work like that. All you need to do is to fold it this way. Then you top stitch. So this next thing you need to do is to place the second part of the zip and place it on the other side. Don't forget we fixed one side already. So all you need to do is to fit is to place the second zip side on the other side of the bacteria and you sew. Then okay, after sewing the top stitch, but well, you need to sew first. to toasty as well done with both sides so the next thing we need to do is to fix in our handle don't forget the next thing we need to do is to fix in our handle so let's go this is our handle so all you need to do So when fixing the handle, this is what we are going to do. We have different kinds of handle. We have different kinds of fixing of handles. So, but this one, I'll be teaching you a particular one. All you need to do is to, you have to leave like one inches. I mean, from the hinge, you leave like one inches. Or let me just say, you leave like, you can leave two inches. This is two inches. So you fold it this way. Fold it this way, you fold this second one the same way, fold one, fold the second one, then you fold it on each other. After folding half of inches at the side, then you place it on each other. So don't forget, you are going to leave like two inches. So this is my whole two inches. So you are going to sew from that two inches. Don't forget we have length 22. At the first end, you are going to leave two inches. You sew, then at the at the end as well, you leave two inches. I hope I'm saying something. So sew from two inches here 
to the other side and leave two inches as well. Don't forget you're going to measure two inches at the hand side as well. So you're going to be measuring two inches. So this is where my two inches go, and that's where I'm going to stop. Can you see you are going to leave two inches open then the other side then the other side you leave two inches open as well i'm going to tell you how to fix it i'm going to tell you the reason why that two inches is there why you have to leave it and fix it later on then you do the second hand as well and the next thing we need to do is to fix in the end that's rule number two so we need to fix in the handle. Can you see the two inches? The two inches that are healthy to leave. This is the two inches. From here to here is two inches. So all you need to do is to take and half inches inside, fold and half inches inside, and then from here. And then from one end, firstly you have to measure from this zip side, from your sewing, from this zip side, you are going to measure three and a half inches. You measure three and a half inches, then from, from one side of the material, you measure four inches. Don't forget four inches. It all depends about it all depends on the length and the width. For instance, I make use of 13 inches width, I added 1 inches which is 14 inches. If I'm making a smaller bag, for instance, I'm making a smaller bag of 10 inches width, I mean 10 inches width, that means my sewing allowance from here, my fixing of my fixing of the handle from here, it might be reduced, instead of making use of 4, it might reduce to 3 or probably 2 and a half. But if I'm making use of the width 13 inches, added 1 inches for the sewing allowance which is 14 inches. So from here to here, of making use of four inches and from my sewing ear to ear of making use of three and a half inches so this is my three and a half inches can you see three and a half then from the other side as well you mark three and a half inches then you mark four inches as well that's where your handle is going to stay so this is my four inches and then this is my three and a half inches so this is where my handle will stay so it's going to be something like this and like this so the main reason why i asked you to leave two inches is this all you need to do is to just put half inches in then you place it can you see how it is 
don't forget this is how it ought to be but i have to leave two inches so all you need to do is to just fold and half inches like this inside then place it like this and you sew i hope i'm saying something fold up an inch at the both side then you place it on where you mark to fix in your handle then you sew same process you repeat the same process for the other one as well I hope you're able to see what I'm talking about. Can you see? Just need to sew in a, in a four corner way, in a square way. And this is it. So this is the handle. This sewing part, this sewing part will be facing the other side. Can you see the handle? Can you see how cool it is now? So let's get to do the second one. So when fixing the other side as well, you need the same measurement which is from here, from the top of your sewing, you measure three and a half inches. And from one side, you measure four inches. This is my four inches. And the other side as well, you measure four inches. And from the top of your sewing, you measure three and a half inches. Once your measurement is accurate, with the first fixing of the undo, just know you are good to go. So let's fix now.
dan we're going to put that into both sides. Okay, don't be both sides, the both. So the next thing we need to do is we're gonna fix in a logo if you want, if you wish. Okay, you can fix in a logo if you wish. So we can do this small logo. See? So you're, you're going to fix the logo in between your handle. In between your handle, which was the applet. So all I have in between now is half one half in between. Half one half in between. So I need to do is just one half divided by two. It gives me two one quarter. So we're going to fix it in the center. So you can use your puncher, but if you don't have a puncher, you can make use of your scissors. Just be careful when you can do it. So you can make a big hole, just a little hole. In between my my handle. So this is the concluding part. But the same thing I would like you to realize here, when cutting something like this, that you're going to fix in a zip cloth. This is what we call zip cloth. That you are going to fix in a zip cloth. Don't forget I told you the actual measurement is 23 inches. Then you'll be adding one inches sewing allowance. Make it 24 inches and there's something i wanted to realize there in something like this for instance 23 inches i have to, to add one inch so in around it gives us 24 inches you see that 24 inches once you take in half inches here you're taking one uh, half inches at the second at the end part it gives you 23 inches but don't forget you are also adding another attachment here which is the zip cloth so once you add even the, the zip cloth itself is like half inches or three quarter yes it's like half inches i hope i'm saying something the actual measurement is 23 inches i actually to add one inches which is 24 inches of sewing and one inches sewing around to make it 24 inches so after you've taken the half inches from one part taking the half inches from other part is give you back your actual measurement actual measurement which is 23 inches but the zip cloth you are adding here don't forget that so that's what i want to i want to take my time to explain very very well and i would like you to listen very well as well so you are adding another this zip cloth itself is like three quarter or half inches it's like half inches so when you are adding this zip cloth to heat don't forget, it's just like you're adding another inches to it. So if you know you, um, what you want exactly is 23 inches, because when, that 23 inches, let me make an example for you. That 23 inches, if you don't have, if you don't add any sewing allowance to it, that 23 inches, after taking one in, half inches here, half inches sewing allowance, it gives you 22 inches. But let me bust your, let me bust your brain. After fixing your zip. On both sides trust me you have that 23 inches back I hope I'm saying something you have okay you are making use of 23 that's what you want you don't want anything shorter than that and you don't want anything longer than that just go straight to the point and make 23 inches don't add any sewing other one because that 23 inches when you did that one half inches here half inches at the other part it gives 22 inches but when you are adding your zip this zip makes it a complete back to 23 inches so then I told you it's 23 inches the main body so I personally I had it one inches making 24 inches so after taking a half inches it gives me back my 23 inches but when I had my zip clothes it gives me 24 inches that means it's one inches longer than what, longer than what I want so that's why I said if you don't want anything longer or shorter than what you want, it all depends on your own measurement. You might decide you don't want to want to be as big as mine. You can make it 20 inches of length. You can make it 19 inches of length. But I think the standard one is where I make it, which is 23 inches of length. So, even though you don't understand, if there is a part you don't understand, please and please, I mean, please and please, you can call me, you can message me on WhatsApp. You can you can comment. Just comment. So I will surely reply. That one is certain. Thanks for your love. 
So we now want to add the zip, the side to heat. So after adding my zip and everything, after measuring, half twenty four and three quarter. This is it. Half twenty four and three quarter. So this is what I'm be adding to heat. I made my own template. You know, I said it's going to give me 20. I have we need 24 and three quarter. So that means anything you are going to use. You can you can decide you want to you can decide you don't want your own to be round, like you don't want your own to be round, or probably you want this kind of shape. You can see it is not that round or round, but it's just a little bit cup as each side all side is a little bit cool so you might decide probably you want your own in a four corner way but trust me this is the best best shape that it will fit in the bag that's why i call it rounded side bag yeah rounded side bag so this is the shape we want so all you need to do is to get i would advise you to just i would like you to get the template if i, if I make use of the cardboard because I'm using, I'm making use of a cardboard now. So all you need to do is, you can measure the length of the cardboard. You can measure, you can measure eight and half for the length, and for the width you can measure seven. That's if you are making the same measurement I'm making. Don't forget, my whole measurement length is twenty three inches. I myself added one inches. That's twenty four inches. So after the sewing allowance, it gives me back my 23 inches. But when I had, after having the zip cloth, it later gives me 24 and 3 quarter inches. That means it's a little bit longer than what I want. So you can make your own longer or shorter. It all depends on your own. It all depends on what you want. So you can make this length. You can make the length 8 and half. Then you make the width 7. So all you need to do is after making the length eight and a half, then the width seven, just need to cuff out, cuff it out for all the all, all side, each side. You just need to use your ruler, you can use your pencil, you can use anything just to cuff it out. Then you will now measure all around. How I'm saying something, you will measure all around and make sure it gives you that twenty four and three quarter you need. Just try to get this thing. It's, it's, a sim, it's a simple arithmetic. It's very, very simple logic. If you know after fixing your zip cloth, after fixing your logo, after fixing your undo, all you get is 22 inches, or all you get is 21 inches, or all you get is 20 inches. That means all this round will be 20 inches. It must not be. You must, your own main body can't be 20, and your attachments, and this round sided one attachment should be to a 19 or 21. No. It must be accurate. So we cut this one. We cut this one too because we'll be fixing at the two sides. So all you need to do now is to mark the center. So this is the center. You can notch it because this is very very good. You can just notch it to know the center. The second part as well to know the center. You notch it so after this after notching can you see the whole body so you fix in your zip edge you fix in your zip edge first after fixing your zip edge then you fix in the round side attachments So I'll be making use of two, two zip eight. I'll be making use of two zip eight.
so after fixing one from one side we fix the other one from the second side We have our zip head. So all you need to do is to just turn it to the to the wrong side. Because you'll be fixing it from the wrong side. Just turn it to the wrong side of the material. Forget you are going to cut two pieces of this out. So now we've cut out the two sides that we need. So all we need to do now is to find the middle and notch it because we fit, we'll be fixing it now. So find the middle and notch it. And know the one who is going to be at down and the one who is going to be at the top. Can you see? So all we need to do now is to find the middle, this is the middle of the main body, then find the middle of this one which I have notched, then you place it together. Don't forget the middle of the main material and the middle of the side. Okay, so we're done, we work on one side, this is how it's going to look like. Can you see? So now we're fixing the other side. Also. Don't forget, the right side and the right side. Come on, 
don't do like shit around the salad. So the last thing we need to do when you're cleaning the last thing you need to do is to wipe it. Anytime you're not making kids, you'll be lining. After sewing, all you need to do is to wipe. So we are wiping, wiping belts. So we are wiping belts. This is not wiping belts. So you need to just take it around, round it, and wipe. Round the place, yeah. All you need to do is just fold it like this. Can you see it? Just take it, fold it into the place, and take it all around. Now we are done with the bag, yeah? We are done and this is the outcome. Don't forget, this is a round-sided bag. So you have to pipe it, don't forget that. You have to pipe it. So the last thing is just for us to turn it outside and see how it looks. Getting there. Can you see why it is called round the side back, round the side back? Oh my god, now just tell me where I can rock it to. I can rock it to any fucking way. Can you see the inside? How neat it is. Once your job is neat and the measurement is accurate, you are free. I mean, you are free to go. So we thank you for the success. If you know this is your first time of watching me, of coming back, of coming to my channel, please just keep coming back. Just keep coming back. I am D. You're welcome back to my channel. You're welcome, 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 welcome to my channel. The beauty fashion world. So when it comes to fashion, just come to my channel. Come on. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe, download, share to your loved ones. And do what? subscribe it is free so thanks for coming today 
and I'll like you to keep on coming and coming and coming. There are more videos coming up, it's just I'm kind of busy these days. But don't worry, I'll put on my best at least maybe just twice in the week or or three times or once even in a week. But trust me, we surely enjoy it. So we are done with today's bag, two round sided bag. So the one okay, probably some um probably next time I'll be doing a bit um tutorial on this same round sided bag but we're making use of don't forget this is a roof material this is one of the material common for um for souvenir bags yeah this is one of the material but we, the next time i'll be making use of it i'll be making use of leather material and i'll be fixing in lining as well this is the way it is even though you want to sew the one with lining the little difference is it has lining I'm piping this one, you can pipe the other one which is lining and you can use the lining to cover it as well. So that's the only difference. But trust me, both are okay. Like 100% okay. So thanks for coming. See you, see you, see you, see you, see you later. Thank you so much.